This secluded stretch of 6th Avenue east of Lacey was not the destination of a woman's rideshare trip over the weekend. But police say this is where an Uber driver brought the intoxicated woman and raped her. The state is also taking the position there there is a substantial danger that the defendant will commit a new violent crime. Today, that Uber driver appeared in court. We're not showing him or using his name because he hasn't been charged yet. But behind this blurred image, the suspect's face was visibly bruised. That's because sheriff's investigators say the victim's family tracked her location and saw she didn't make it home. Her father and other family members went to find her and interrupted the attack. Sheriff's investigators say the family beat up the driver, who then sped away and was quickly arrested, according to a police report. She is fearful if he has released her, expressed that she would be fearful if he has released her. Family and friends of the suspect came to support him in court, but in the neighborhood where the attack happened... You can't trust anybody anymore, and it sucks. People we talked to were disturbed. She wanted to go out and have a good time and, you know, expect the ride chair to be a safe safe place and investigators allege the driver marked the woman's trip as complete on the app but kept her in the car and kept driving prosecutors said that showed he meant to conceal where she was while he took her to the secluded spot to attack her what kind of background checks are they running on people right is it anybody can anybody just sign up to this program I reached out to Uber about this case today. They sent me a statement. They said the allegations are appalling and that their team is now working with law enforcement in the investigation. As for that rideshare driver, he's being held on a $100,000 bail, and the judge said that if he's able to post that bail, he cannot work as a rideshare driver while the case against him moves forward. Reporting from Thurston County, I'm Jeremy Harris, Como News. And